my first question for you is, uh, is, is what is one thing that you do for the photographic process that has saved you time? So are you asking like not including AI type stuff? It could be AI, but not uh, not specific to Imagine AI. Okay, so uh, in terms of photographic process, I mean, this year I've learned a lot of things in terms of, uh, especially, and it's one of those like old cliche adages, like time is money. And mm -hmm. um, so I've tried to cut down the number of images that I'm shooting, which is hard because I also just switched about uh, a year and a half ago to Sony mirrorless cameras and they take pictures really fast. They focus really accurately. Like in the live stream, we were just talking about um, how the 51.2, like you can nail images at 1.2. So yeah. it's hard to not go a little bit crazy. And, you know, this switch to Sony mirrorless has really reinvigorated my like passion for certain types of motion shots and taking more risks because they're not really risks anymore or shooting like a crazy 30 frame a second burst on a walking or running picture. So I've really had to try to, and I've, and I'm, you know, some of my other photographers that work for me have done the same. They've switched to mirrorless and, and I know, um, and even some of the Facebook groups I'm in, other photographers have been saying like, it's really hard to not overshoot right now because the cameras are so good, but I've really tried to do that on the, um, I guess the front end, the photography side of my job is to, okay, these tools we have now are great, but let's try to um, be still be efficient with them and not overdo it. And, um, you know, I don't, I'm trying not to be hard on myself or anybody that's worked for me or anybody else out there. I mean, it's just something that kind of happened to everybody naturally. Uh, so that was my first uh, sign to me that, okay, I can shoot a little bit less and that does help, but I also needed help with the volume I was taking on and that I am taking on still with my jobs. I need to be able to call down the images more efficiently. I need to be able to edit the images more efficiently. So this whole year has been about efficiency in terms of my job, but then also kind of like we talked about on the live stream, also work-life balance, being able to right have the time to do those things. So yeah, that's, uh, it's kind of all ties together into the theme of this year was time is money, but also time is valuable, personal time. In fact, there's an um, uh, old friend of mine who I've worked with uh, over the years. He works now for Tave and, and Shoot Proof. Um, his name's Dave Shea, and, and he also does like one-on-one, um, -on -one, uh, like, you know, because a big thing for him is he kind of went through the same thing um, years ago himself. Like he was working himself to the bone and he's like how do I spend time with my wife and my kid and still have a happy life so I've really even though this has been the busiest year and a lot of people have kind of punted um that kind of aspect of their life like all right I'm just gonna like work like crazy this year and I'll figure out the rest in the future but um with you know some of the things that um, I've gone through and, and my girlfriend's gone through um, medically and you know we're very grateful uh, for her health and everything now, but you know, some things happen in life where you do realize like, um, yes, my job is important, but there are things more important, believe it or not, than a job and, uh, being able to manage your time and, um, balance is, is really important. So that's really, uh, the overall theme for this year for me. That's great. Yeah. You know, um, historically I've always used a DSLR and had my DSLR set to, um, uh, continuous high, <laughs> like I would hold down the shutter and it would go click, 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 click. And I was using Nikon D8, D800, D850. So that it, they were fast. Um, now, now that I use Nikon Z bodies, which are their mirrorless, uh, I had to switch it to, to single because it really is. It, they're faster and, uh, and easier to get out of control. And, uh, I agree with you, like being able to find ways like that to spend more time with the family, uh, away from the, away from the office, away from the computer. It's so valuable in many, yeah. many, many ways. Yeah. And I have to say, even when I was with the D850, like the D850 was my favorite DSLR before I switched to mirrorless. I even started to develop the methodology and, and style and approach that I use now with 
when I had the D850, that's when I really did start to feel comfortable shooting wide open at like 1.4 with like the Nikon, the, the 105, 1.4, which is, even though I, I love Sony and um, and if any of my Sony peeps out there listening, um, I'm fully <laughs> team Sony, but that is one lens I miss. And hopefully Sony comes out with something and I think they might be similar to the 105, 1.4. I mean, the 85 and the 135 GM lenses I have are great. But um, just a little side note. But, yeah, I started that uh, approach, philosophy, doing things in the spirit of that with the D850 myself a couple of years ago. Because it probably was the best focusing uh, DSLR I had. And it's kind of just um, evolved over the past two years into, you know, now I shoot with the Sony A1s and... Um, you know, I, originally I had the Sony A92. It was the best focusing camera I ever had. I didn't think that is fast camera. Yeah, that is a very fast camera. And I didn't think that there was ever something that would be faster. But the A1 is even faster, and it's hard been hard for me to imagine. So, and also too, I've really with the A1 being a 50 megapixel versus the 24 on the A92. I've really, um, really tried to. Uh, be more careful about going into that burst and, and really how many photos I'm taking. And also too, slowing down a little bit like that has helped me be more careful with things like composition and um, looking for distracting things in the background. So it's been good to, to slow down a little bit, especially over the past few months with um, my approach.